We just got massive news for Call of Duty Black Ops 6 Zombies. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Before the video starts, if you enjoyed today's video, leave a like and subscribe as we're on the road to 1,000 subscribers and hit that bell to stay notified for when my videos go live. Hop into my community Discord server and come hang out with me and my community and make some new friends. I would love to have you a part of the community. The link is in the video's description. Alright, into the video. Today has been a massive day for Call of Duty Zombies fans as Call of Duty has unveiled the gameplay trailer for Terminus Island and has also given us quite the info dump for Black Ops 6 Zombies. Here's the trailer and then we'll discuss the info drop. What are you standing around for? Time to bounce. Pre-order digitally and instantly unlock the Reflect 115 Camo Pack in Modern Warfare 3, Call of Duty Warzone, and Warzone Mobile. So guys, in Black Ops 6 Zombies, we are going to be getting some classic mechanics coming back. The classic prestige progression system is coming to Zombies, plus a whole lot more. Four unique Zombies Mastery Camos, Zombies Reticle Challenges, Calling Cards plus 100% Completion Rewards, Zombies Dark Ops Challenges, Daily Challenges at Launch, and Unique Main Quest Rewards. Also, I want to note the image Treyarch shares with us has the ray gun. Glad to see it's coming back. Also, we saw a new wonder weapon within the trailer. The Beam Smasher. This thing looks incredibly fun. And it has two firing modes. The primary firing mode. This fires a solid beam of etheric energy, causing organic matter to break down at the molecular level. This occurs almost instantly, and enemies appear to explode in a cloud of vaporized innards. Further test Testing is needed, but it appears that the longer the weapon fires, the more ungainly it becomes to move. Secondary firing mode. Focused sound waves cause the molecules of multiple enemy targets to vibrate at alarming fast rates. Targets are racked with pulsing head trauma that incapacitates by slowing the target rather than damaging them. Entities in this state become much more easily to damage by both the primary firing mode and conventional firepower. The Beam Smasher sounds
sounds amazing, guys. I cannot wait to play with this thing, along with the ray gun, and from what I saw at the end of the trailer, Liberty Falls is bringing back the jet gun. In this blog post, they shared that we're getting the return of classic power-ups, such as insta-kill, double points, max ammo, nuke, bonus points, full power, and max armor. Glad to see all of those returning. We knew they were going to. Treyarch also shared with us an image showcasing all of the perk machines we're going to be seeing. We're going to be seeing Quick Revive, Juggernog, Stamina, Elemental Pop, Deadshot Daiquiri, Speed Cola, PhD Flopper, and Melee Macchiato. Though I wonder if Wonder Fizz is going to be making an appearance anytime soon in Black Ops 6 Zombies. Along with Death Perception, that perk was really nice to have. Juggernog, increase maximum health by 100. Quirk Revive, reduce the health regen delay time by 50%. Reduce the time it takes to revive an ally by 50%. Speed Cola, increase reload and armor replating speed by 30%. Stamina Up, increase movement speed. PhD Flopper, immunity to all self-inflicted damage and status effects. Dive to prone, triggers an explosion, which increases the higher you fall. Immunity from fall damage while diving to prone. Deadshot Daiquiri. Aiming down sight moves to enemy critical location. Increase enemy critical damage. Elemental Pop. Every bullet you fire has a small chance to apply a random ammo mod effect. Melee Macchiato. Replace gun butt with a deadly punch that sends enemy flying. Ammo Mods. The Arsenal Machine. So you guys will be able to visit the Arsenal Machine to gain access to ammo mods along with increasing the damage rarity of your weapon. The ammo mods are as follows. Brain Rot. Bullets deal toxic damage. Each bullet has the chance to turn a normal or special enemy into an ally. Cryo Freeze. Bullets deal frost damage. Each bullet has a chance to slow normal or special enemies. Dead Wire. Bullets deal electrical damage. Each bullet has a chance to stun any normal or special enemy, generating a field that deals electric damage to nearby enemies. Napalm Burst. Bullets deal fire damage. Each bullet has a chance to ignite normal or special enemies. In addition, they're adding a new ammo mod called Shadow Rift. Bullets deal shadow damage. Each bullet has a chance to spawn a black hole if striking normal or special enemies, warping nearby zombies away and dropping some from the air at high speed. Ammo caches are making a return, along with trials are making a return. You'll be able to buy armor levels off the wall, increasing in essence depending on rarity. In Black Ops 6 Zombies, you guys will be able to customize the HUD UI. So if you don't like the layout, you can change the layout. In Black Ops 6 Zombies, you're going to have field upgrades and at launch, expect a familiar family of field upgrades from past Zombies games. Ether Shroud, phase into the Dark Ether becoming hidden from enemy detection. Frenzied Guard, repair armor and force all enemies in the area to target you during this time. Kills, repair a portion of your armor. Healing Aura, summons beams of energy down on yourself and allies to instantly revive and heal to full health. Energy Mine, create a mine of pure energy that detonates in rapid succession, dealing lethal electric damage. In addition, there's a new field upgrade known as Dark Flare. You generate a massive energy beam that deals lethal shadow damage. The beam penetrates everything in its path. Further improvements, field upgrades can be made even more powerful with the use of augments. Field upgrades cannot be dropped, but for now, for the first time in Zombies, you can swap to a different field upgrade at any time during the match using the in-game menu. Note that your cooldown will reset upon switching to a different field upgrade. Tacticals, lethals, and support equipment will be able to be crafted at its corresponding crafting table. The items you can craft at the crafting table are as follows. Frag, Sticky, Maltov, C4, Combat Axe, Impact Grenades, Thermo Grenades, Blast Traps. Also, you can craft support equipment, such as self-revives, ARCXDs, sentry turrets, or mutant injections. The mutant injection temporarily transforms you into a mangler. You heard me right. 
You get to run around as a mangler and mangle some zombies. I cannot wait to play with this. Gobblegums make its return into Black Ops 6 zombies since BO3 zombies. They go on to say in this blog post that you'll be able to earn Gobblegums in game. So I don't know if it's going to become a microtransaction. Probably will. Treyarch also has introduced the ability to save and quit in solo zombies zombies matches, along with being able to just outright pause the solo match. And if you're playing in a joinable session, people can join on you at any point in time during the match. Even if they disconnect, they can just reconnect and join. All in all, guys, the info and the trailer was just incredible. I'm super excited to play Black Ops 6 Zombies, and I hope you guys are too. I just can't wait to get my hands on it, and I can't wait to see more of zombies at COD next, August 28th. I cannot wait to see Liberty Falls. I can't wait to see gameplay. I just can't wait to play it myself. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button and consider subscribing to stay up to date with all the latest content and share their channel with your friends. It helps the channel grow. Have a great day, everyone.